Okay. So um, welcome everybody to the training on how to get the most out of um, International Day 2021. My name is Patricia Langan. I'm the Regional Director for Africa and the Middle East. And uh, we're going to run through um, a slide deck. Uh, and then we're going to have a demonstration. And I encourage you all to write questions in the chat uh, as you think of them. I've muted everybody, and I would I would ask that uh, you you not um, you not unmute yourself, um, but just chat. Uh, this recording will be available via a link that we'll send you in an email uh, after the training. So let me move first to introductions. Um, we also from We Connect International have Mohammed Hamad, the IT manager, and we have Akash Nag, who is our client success manager with the virtual platform company Kubilo. And this is the agenda today. So what really is We Connect International? And what is International Day? And what are the ways um, can I network with people uh, during International Day or before International Day? And why should I log into the event portal before the event? And how do I log into the event portal? Uh, we will have a demonstration of the portal, and I hope you feel a little more empowered to use it um, after this event. Please type your uh, questions in chat as we go. So what's uh, We Connect International? We help drive money into the hands of women business owners worldwide by enabling them to compete in the global marketplace. And uh, we are a uh, association of large buying organizations, the largest buyers in the world actually, that represent uh, trillions and trillions of procurement spend every year. Um, unfortunately, um, when you add up all the spend on women owned businesses by these companies, it still amounts to uh, just a, a few percent of their spend. So our target, our goal, is to increase the proportion of spend um, on women-owned businesses worldwide. And we work in uh, 120 countries. Um, we uh, register businesses in our database. Uh, and if you're not registered, I encourage you to do that today. You can go to uh, this email address. Um, we've also sent links out. Um, as a matter of fact, you're required to at least be registered in order to attend International Day. Registration gets you visibility worldwide to buyers. You get news, you get training, um, you get uh, resources that you can use, and you get opportunities to network, uh, not just with buyers, but with other women-owned businesses. We also certify women-owned businesses. So we verify, sorry, we verify for our members that the uh, business uh, is indeed at least 51% owned, managed, and controlled by one or more women. And we certify in 46 countries in the world. Uh, registration is free. Certification, we ask a fee. And the reason is that this uh, verification process actually is quite intense and um, we hire assessors to do that. So um, I mentioned our member buyers, and um, we have more than uh, 120 today. If you'd spoken to me a year ago, we would have had less than 100. So even despite COVID, we've continued to grow our buyer base. And this is a, a big attraction for a lot of women-owned businesses to join us and register. Um, but um, we, we also recognize that uh, uh, many of the businesses in our database, they don't get contracts with these members, but they do gain a lot more, a lot of other things by being in the database. They gain visibility, uh, they gain uh, capacity because we do training, they gain a lot of information, and they meet other women-owned businesses, which as you know, is one of the most important, uh, networking with other women-owned businesses it is an important aspect to success. What is International Day? We hold this annually. And uh, in past years, it's been in person in the United States. Uh, that has limited um, the, the, the numbers of women and numbers of countries that have been uh, 
represented at International Day. So actually this virtual option helps us really realize the vision of International Day, which is that we have women-owned businesses from across regions and across countries interacting with each other, with buyers um, in a comfortable uh, space. Uh, we are shooting to have at least 200 women-owned businesses at this event and uh, at least 50 uh, buyers and hopefully more. Uh, you can still buy tickets up until June 4th and um, uh, the prices are here, the link is here. Um, it's this uh, event is sponsored by uh, ExxonMobil, Logitech, Johnson & Johnson, J.P. Morgan Chase, UPS, Cargill, Unilever, Marriott, IBM, and Kellogg's. So it just shows you how important this is to our member buyers as well. At the event, uh, not only will there be connecting and networking opportunities, but we are going to announce the winners of the Rise to the Challenge Awards. This is the inaugural awards, recognizing achievement uh, by women-owned businesses uh, who uh, provide STEM-related products and services or service the STEM industries. Um, and uh, the award will be based on the most compelling story that women send us about how they overcame uh, challenges to market access, uh, to increase their customer base, um, to sign contracts, to get business, to raise their revenues, et cetera. Uh, I mentioned that this event is structured to be available for uh, people across time zones uh, when we held the event in the United States before, it was on the, U the Eastern time zone uh, and it was not convenient um, for people who weren't here. So this time we actually have a three-part event that spans 18 hours. It starts at 9 a.m. GMT uh, in part one uh, for about three, three and a half hours. And then it stops and it continues at 2 p.m. GMT for three, three and a half hours. Then um, at, uh, I'm gonna switch to Eastern time because the third part starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time on June 21st and um, it ends three hours later. So uh, part one, part two and part three are convenient to all time zones across the world and we'll have matchmaking and uh, networking meetings in each one of these parts. The only difference is that in part three, we actually announce the winners of the awards. In parts one and part two, we'll be showing the videos of the finalists uh, from the award um, uh, competition. Oh, uh, sorry, we're holding this event on uh, hubillo.com and uh, please check uh, that you are able to access hubillo.com. Some companies have uh, firewalls up uh, against uh, not just um, uh, applications that you download, but also cloud-based platforms like hubillo.com. So please check that you can access it. And if, if your company computer doesn't allow you to, you can always access it on a personal device. Um, so let's jump in. What are the ways I can network and connect with people at International Day? There are basically six ways. There's the artificial intelligence or AI driven matchmaking. There's small group meetings in rooms. There's informal meetings in lounges. There are, uh, you can visit booths. You can chat with each other and that's text chat, but also you can then invite people to have a video meeting and you can manually set up meetings in advance. So you can invite people to meetings. Um, and we're gonna hear more about the AI-driven matchmaking and some other aspects of connecting in the demonstration. So AI-driven matchmaking allows us to provide a one-to-one -one matchmaking. Um, and I wanna point out that uh, because uh, uh, certified women-owned businesses or what we call WBEs uh, have a different level of access in all our events and activities, um, they will be uh, able to participate in one-to-one -one matchmaking with the buyers. Um, and 
uh, buyers might reach out to um, registered women-owned businesses. Um, and in that case, the buyers can invite you to a one-to-one -one meeting. But I'm just telling you that the system set up to suggest one-to-one -one meetings between buyers and WBEs. Uh, registered women-owned businesses have access to one-to-many meetings. Um, they also can set up, they can invite other women-owned businesses and WBEs to meetings as well. Uh, they can visit uh, the sponsors' booths. Um, they can drop into lounges. And we're going to, I'll tell you more about lounges later, where you can also interact with buyers and other women-owned businesses. Um, we are trying to be as inclusive as possible this year. Um, while the main language of the event will be English, uh, you can actually um, see the event in any of these languages and also French and German, I believe as well. Uh, we also will have lounges uh, where if you're a Chinese speaker, you can go to the lounge and find other Chinese speakers, et cetera. And the lounges will be open during certain periods. So you can network with people who speak your language. We'll have small group meetings in rooms. Um, and rooms is a certain feature of the Hubillo platform. Um, and there are certain rules to um, who can invite whom to meetings, which I've, I've just reviewed. Um, and I think that we should, uh, okay, so maybe first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish by just saying, why should I log in to the event portal before the International Day event? This is really important. We don't want you showing up on the day uh, not knowing how to use the portal and not knowing how to really take advantage of the portal, all the features in the portal. But the, um, the other two reasons to visit the portal before you, before June 21st is to get noticed. We really need you to build a great business profile in, in the portal. And you, have a, you already have the materials to do that. It's just a matter of uploading those into your profile, choosing um, the keywords that are gonna help the artificial intelligence suggest matches for you and also keywords that will allow other people to find you and invite you to meetings. Um, then you also should, I would recommend once a week, go into the, at least once a week, go into the portal and accept meetings that are suggested to you by the artificial intelligence. If you're interested in the meetings, you do not have to accept meeting requests. Um, you can also set up meetings. You can look for people that are providing a product you're looking for or who are seeking a product you're offering or something. Okay, how do I log into the portal? This week, uh, or you or this weekend, we're not entirely sure, but um, you're going to start building your profile as soon as you get the email invitation with a code from this email address, which is basically the Hubillo uh, email address. So uh, I'll repeat that. You're going to get an email invitation with a code that you use to uh, uh, log in um, to the event portal. And I would recommend that you, once you've logged in, that you actually um, make that a favorite um, website. And then you can refer back to it in your favorites bar later over the next few weeks. I'm going to pass it over to Mohammed Hamad uh, to present. And I think I have to unmute you, Mohammed. So bear with me here for a second. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm asking. Oh yeah. All righty. All righty. There you go. And um, I, um, I want to thank everybody and thank you, Mohammed, for running us through a demo. If you have questions again, everyone, please put them in the chat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patricia. And I just need access to go ahead and share my screen.
Perfect. Thank you very much. All righty, everybody. So over uh, the next uh, several days, you will receive a link uh, from Hugh Billow at the email address that Patricia mentioned, and you'll be able to uh, open that link up and start building your profile. Once you click on that link, this is what you will be taken to. Hopefully everybody can see my link, uh, my screen here, and you will start off building your profile on this page. And it's very um, self-explanatory and it's very intuitive to build your profile here. I'll go ahead and start by filling up my information. Your first and last name will be, in, uh, will be plugged in in here automatically for you as we register everybody in the event. And you start off by uploading a picture if you want of your profile. And that's how we get it started. Next, uh, uh, next field that we have to fill up is about my business. And this is a required field. Any field with a star uh, means that it is required and you have to fill it up. And you know, the more information that you put in here, um, the better it will be. And everybody will be able to tell the type of business that you have and what it is you do. Next is your job title and the organization. Then you get to select the country that you're based in. Now this is different than the country that you're offering services in. This is just the country that you are located in. Now, anything uh, social media related here, websites, this is all optional. So you do not have to fill this in, but uh, we do recommend filling it, filling it in. That way other uh, you know, organizations can find you and other uh, women-owned businesses can find out about more about you. And you can just fill this information in as you please. The industry, which industry do you belong to? Now, this is the industry that you operate in. So for us, uh, we can just, you can just select the one that best fits uh, your organization. You can just go through it here and get that going. And if none of those fits, you can just select other and you can type it in there. So for us, uh, we'll just put nonprofit here. Continue. And this field over here is for suppliers, existing clients or customers. You can just mention if you are. And your email address. Now this could be your direct email address or the email address for the organization that you operate in. Plug my email address in here. Okay, next, uh, these are the service, you'll be asked for the service regions that you operate in or provide services or uh, products in. You can select, uh, let's say, we will select North America. You can select more than one if you would like. So I'll just select multiple ones and we'll hit continue. And what is it that I am looking for? So from the drop down list, you'll see a lot of items here. You can select what it is you're looking for. Let's say for me, I'm just gonna say I'm looking for office equipment accessories. Now this list is limited at this point, but we will have all the items uh, listed in here uh, once we have the portal up and running later uh, this week. And you just select what you're looking for. And what is it that you're offering if you are offering anything else, you know, any other products or services manufacturer components. And once you are done, you will go ahead and hit finish. Now, once your profile is built, you will, you will be taken to the portal. Now the portal, once you get into the portal, you will be um, treated with a, a tutorial. This tutorial will walk you through what every, what every um, section of this portal 
will do for you. So the main thing that you will be dropped off at is the reception. And that's where you will see all the information in here about the event. Next is the event feed. And this is most, most likely um, going to have a lot of discussions and, you know, where you see the polls uh, during the event and any other notifications. And you'll see people who will um, post, um, you know, certain discussions and you'll be able to participate in those. The attendees section will show you the list of the attendees um, of this event. So we'll, we'll jump to that in a little bit. I'm just going to go through this quickly. The agenda will have the details for the actual event and what the, the agenda is. All right, and if we have, we're going to have any speakers in this event, this is where they will be. And under the exhibitors um, section, this is where all the booths and the premium booths will be located at and organizations will get the chance uh, to see their booths and uh, some will be able to edit their booths as well and make changes to it as needed. Meetings. This is one of the sections that Patricia was talking about where well, you'll be able to meet with other individuals and request one-to-one -one meetings and this is where you will operate from. Lounge. This is mo this is like just uh, where you would sit down and just um, just have, you know, uh, you can just view any other meetings and start networking with other people. Leaderboard. Uh, this is a nice feature where it tells you um, who the most active, uh, you know, uh, or individuals or organiza organizations are and just tells you um, what it is, you know, what your score is. And this will be a part of... Uh, we will have a competition for, uh, you know, people who will be the most active and Patricia will talk more about that. Notifications, anything important, we will be pushing out notifications during the event for anything that's coming up or any important things, you will see it under here and it will stay in there so you can see it if need be. Chats, if somebody requests a chat, to talk to you or anything of that nature, every, it will show up under here. So just keep an eye on this, just in case you are getting any chat requests. We'll click on done here. And just wanted to point out a couple of things here. If you think that you missed something on your profile or you need to adjust something later on, all you gotta do, you just go up here to your profile and you can edit this profile or First thing you can um, do is you can update your looking for offering services. You can update that from here if you want to change that. And then one other thing that I want to showcase is my schedule. So if you have any meetings scheduled or any, you know, one-on-ones, um, you know, you'll probably have a lot of those. You can just click on my schedule and you will see them in here. And these will be during the event dates. So just... Um, Take a look at that if you need to look at your schedule. And to edit your profile, you click on this uh, gear up here next to my profile and you can edit profile. And this will take you back to the main page where you can edit your profile and change anything that you need to if needed. Notifications, you may adjust your notifications. Um, some people might find it um, you know, overwhelming. Some might want more notifications. So if you would like to get a notifications for meetings or anyone, and anytime anybody views your profile or anytime you get a messages, you can go into the notification section and enable those, or you can disable them. That's completely up to you. Uh, same thing with the uh, desktop and mobile app if you are using that to get on the meeting, uh, to get uh, on the event itself. And we will be adding a privacy section here later on, and you will be able to see that uh, later where you can block certain things, like you can block chats or any other functionalities that the event system allows. So you will be able to see that in here. And localization, you can select if you want any 24-hour uh, time or anything else in here. 
All right, so that is it for the profile section. Now let's go back here. I'm going to go to the event feed. And this is pretty much, it will look like a um, kind of a, like a social networking type of thing where you will see anybody that's posted, create a new post, you can comment on them. Um, when people add videos, stuff like that. So this is where you will see this stuff in here. And you will also notice that there might be polls. This is where you can participate in polls as well. And going over to the attendees. This is where you will see attendees and you will also um, see the section here that says people you should connect with. Now, these people are uh, gonna be people that the system thinks that you should connect with. And this is based on the AI algorithm that they use. Um, so system recommends I match with Erosion as they might be providing services or products that I might be looking for or I'm offering and they might be interested. So that's just one thing to keep an eye at. And these are all the uh, participants of the test event that we have set up at the moment. And on, on International Day, you will, know, you will see a list of everybody in here, everybody that's joined. The agenda section, uh, for now it is clear, but this is where you will see the agenda for the event itself. And speakers, well, you will see the speakers if we will have any in the event. Exhibitors, booths, this is where you will see um, exhibitor booths. And these are empty at the moment for testing still, but this is the section that they will be in. And this is where you can showcase uh, your organization and some organizations will be able to edit that themselves and make changes to it. Meetings, I don't have any meetings scheduled for me or any of that, so I will not see anything in here. Lounges. Righty. Now this is the only for the, somebody's already set up a lounge meeting in here. We don't have any at the moment, so we can't really showcase that one. And let's jump to the leaderboard. This is where you see who the most active individuals are. And you can collect points as you participate more in the event itself. So the more active you are, uh, the more points you will collect. This is the notification section. Just keep an eye on that because you will see when somebody views your profile or somebody sends you a meeting request, this is where you will see it. And chat requests. This is where you will see chat requests and you may also start a new chat with other attendees. And you may just click on that and the other person will get notified that they are, that somebody's trying to reach out to you. So it's a very simple platform and it's very easy to use and self-explanatory. Uh, we recommend that you look at, you, you have a look at the attendee guide as you go through this. And once you receive the invitation, please set up your profile. As Patricia said, that will help you get more visibility and will help you make sure that you'll be able to use the system without any issues on International Day. And I see we have a lot of uh, questions here. You know, Mohammed, um, I have yes. been trying to write responses, but I think I'm going to also just um, answer some of these questions now, if that's okay. Sure thing. All righty, I'll go ahead and mute myself. No, no, don't mute them oh. yourself because I All might right. need you. <laughs> no problem. Um, um, yeah, so let me, let me turn my video back on. Sure thing. Mohammed, thank you very much. Of course. Uh, one, one point I, uh, that Mohammed made, I want to repeat, is that we are still building out the platform. And uh, so when you do get your invitation to log in to the event portal, you're going to see that it's a bit more built out than it is right now. Um, and 
Uh, let me let me go to some important questions. Someone asked, um, can we have more than one person use the same login, um, uh, use the same ticket for the event? No, please buy tickets for everyone you want to participate unless you are going to invite that person into the room where you're sitting when you log in on your device uh, for the event. Um, and uh, we are asking that everyone um, buy their ticket by June 4th. And the reason is that the AI works best if we have a critical mass of profiles in the system. And we want those profiles to be built really well before we turn the matchmaking on. So um, we are asking you to buy your tickets by June 4th. And on June 4th, we're gonna open up the matchmaking. And that answers one of the questions. When am I gonna be able to log in to build my profile? And when are we gonna be able to start seeing the meetings that are suggested or that, or when can I start inviting people to meetings? Okay, so um, we are going to open the uh, portal up for you to build your profiles and invite you uh, in the next few days, definitely by Monday. Okay, definitely by Monday, hopefully before that. Then, um, You'll be building your profiles. And then by June 4th, you're gonna be able to go in and see meetings that are suggested for you. Um, and um, also correct me, Mohammed, do people get emails from the portal telling them when someone's invited them to a meeting? Uh, yes, that is correct. And okay. uh, that functionality could be disabled or enabled as uh, one would please. Right, so if you don't want emails from the portal telling you that someone's invited you to a meeting or accepted a meeting, then you can turn that feature off. That's what's so great about this portal. It's very customizable by the participant. And uh, somebody asked, you know, what logo should I put up or um, how should I brand my profile? Should I use my personal, something personal or something for my business? I would highly recommend you everything you put up there be about your business. You are the representative of the business. Um, that's what buyers are looking for. So um, use your company logo, et cetera. Um, email, use the, put the email in there that you want notifications to come to, that you want people to see uh, and use. Uh, you can uh, turn off, um, uh, visibility to your email. If you don't want people to see your email, you can turn that off. But I would say use the email you want people to use. Um, and um, oh, somebody asked the profile. Will it be the profile that's in We Community for my business now? Uh, no, there's no nothing's transferring or being copied from We Community into this portal. I haven't found a portal that does that yet. Um, maybe that's a next generation portal. Uh, so you will just, you know, use some of the same information if you want that's in We Community and put it into this, into your profile. Um, and okay, um, somebody asked the category that I chose when I bought my ticket. Uh, is that the category that's going to show up in the event portal? Uh, it, it, uh, these, that data will transfer from our ticketing system into the portal, but it's, you can change it. It's, as I said, totally customizable. When you go into your profile, if you don't like the category that's chosen, you can choose another one. You can choose multiple ones and change them as the day goes on, or you could even, that's, that's a good reason to go in early. You can choose, see how the AI works. If you're not liking the, res the, the meetings that are being recommended by AI, you can change the category, change the service area or something like that and see what happens. Um, and I, I just saw a question, are buyers going to start accepting meetings? It's up to the buyers. I mean, we're trying to motivate them to come, to be there, um, creating like incentives for them to be there. Um, they will have access to this same training that you have um, they're going to know how to invite people, how to accept meetings, etc. cetera. Um, and hopefully they will start accepting before, uh, the date of international day. And one of the reasons is that 
when you accept a meeting, it goes into your event calendar. So you have your own, it's called, well, it's called my schedule in the portal. So you're going to have my schedule you can refer to. You can say, oh, during part one of the event, there are three meetings that people accepted. So I've got to be there at the portal from, you know, 11 to 11.15 and then from 11.30 to 11.45, 11.45 to 12. Um, and I can be networking in the lounges or the rooms or something when I'm not in those meetings. So you'll have your own schedule. Um, uh, someone's ha asking here, can I use a separate email to create the profile different from what is registered with We Connect International? Yes, that's up to you. Uh, you can do that. Um, and I'm just looking here. Oh, someone says tickets are cheap too. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you feel that way um, and that you get great value out of this event. Um, the another question um, was, uh, will this recording be available? Yes, we will send you a link to this recording. You can share it with others who uh, are planning on attending. Um, and um, the, uh, the slides also will be available via link. And then the attendee user guide that I mentioned, um, it is, uh, you'll see the link to that in the slides. We'll also include that in the email that we send you. And you can read more about the portal that way. Um, and Melanie, you were offering if you could help me look through the questions. I think I've looked at most of them, but if you notice a question I haven't addressed, um, I have, there are some questions about booths and um, we are making a limited number of booths available to Weebies. Um, it's a limited time only offer. And uh, we'll get back to you with an email that um, tells you um, what to do to set up your booth. Okay, so you'll be getting an email about that. And um, as I said, this is a special offer so that if any certified business buys their ticket, um, it, we started the promo this week. And if you buy it by uh, May 23rd, you can get a, a premium booth uh, for the event. Somebody is asking some questions generally about We Connect International, um, like how do you get certified, things like that. Um, I have sent the links to do that. Um, someone's asking how long does it take to get certified? It, we, we promise that we will, um, we will assess your application for certification within 90 days. That is no guarantee that you will actually be approved for certification. Um, that's why it's important to read all the standards and requirements for certification before you apply and pay. But for the purposes of this event, if you have applied for certification and paid and you sent confirmation of payment for certification, um, you, we will allow you to have the um, WBE benefits for this event. That doesn't mean that you're finally approved for certification. It just means that for this event, you can get a taste of what it's like to be a weeby. <laughs> um, um, Melanie, do you think that I missed any of these questions? Um, I think I've um, handled most of them. And somebody's asking, can you select multiple categories um, of products and services that you're looking for and offering? We're working on that right now. Um, we're, not, we're not sure how many you're gonna be able to choose, but we're certainly trying to um, uh, work on that. So you'll be learning more about that as we go. Um, this is a new platform for us too. So we're learning as we go. And um, we, we hope to do more events structured this way with more matchmaking, more, more uh, connecting uh, using platforms like this in the future. Um, okay, people, a lot of people are asking about the certified booths. You're gonna get an email with the directions about that, okay? 
Someone's asking, how can I find out whether I'm a registered woman-owned business? Um, we, Melanie is going to follow up with you. If she has your name, she can check that you're in the uh, database. So can you, uh, Melanie, you see Penny's name there? If you could get back to her maybe and look that up. That would be great. And um, I'm going to unmute, sorry, Melanie, I'm going to unmute you in case you um, need to talk to me here. Thanks, Patricia. Yes, I will get back to you on that about the registrations, Penny. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I have covered all the questions. If I missed your question, oh, here. Um, yeah, if I missed a question, do you mind retyping it? Sorry about that. Um, oh, here, this is a good question. Will the schedule be transferable to our work calendars? Um, yes, uh, so asking if you can export the calendar to like Outlook or iCal or something like that. Um, Mohammed, did we confirm what is that possible? I'm sorry, what was the question again? Um, can people export their their schedule from the portal? Uh, no, that is not possible at the moment. That is not However, possible. Uh, we have uh, made that suggestion and it's being pushed to the uh, uh, to the uh, the appropriate team to have a look at it and see if that would could be made possible before the event, but we'll keep you posted on that. Okay. But at the moment, as it stands, it is not. Okay, great. So I would recommend for now, uh, everyone assume that it does, you can't export it to your calendar. Just make sure you make a note in your own calendar so you know uh, what the meetings are for June 21st through the evening of June, um, um, early morning of June 22nd. Um, and uh, hopefully, uh, we can make this feature available um, later. And we'll let you know. We're definitely going to keep you updated. You're going to get notifications um, as um, we. Um, so uh, we're getting a lot of questions about a demo to set up the booth. I think what we're going to do is um, we are going to, Mohammed. I think maybe the best thing to do is maybe you could record a demo to do that. And then we'll send it out to people who get booze. Is that okay? So you, we'll send you guys a demo of how to set up a booth later. Uh, sure thing. No, I know okay? uh, the regular booths will have. We will have to set up ourselves. The premium booths, the actual owners will be able to make modifications and changes as needed. Okay. So we'll. And, uh, I think we should do a demo and send it um, yep. later to people. Okay. All right, I think I have, um, it says, I missed your answer about how booths are going to be assigned. This is a promo that we put in place um, for certified women-owned businesses. If you bought your ticket this week up until May 23rd, um, you can get a booth. If we have extra booths after that, um, we will, you're, if you're a Weeby and you have a ticket, your name will go in a lottery and we'll let you know if we're able to um, give you a premium booth, okay? We're not selling the booze. We're not selling the booze. Um, we might in future events, but not this one. Um, so, and we, one other thing I want to point out is that uh, we really look forward to your feedback on how the format of this meeting works. And we're going to have surveys as, as we go through the event. And I really encourage you to fill in the surveys because that's going to help us make like our future regional conferences better and obviously International Day better next, next year. We, we really welcome your feedback. We might even ask some of you to join like a focus group um, to talk about it a little bit later. Um, okay, Melanie, do you think that I covered all the questions? Um, yeah, I believe we did. Great, you guys. Uh, let me show you this again. Um, I'm going to show you my the slides again. Okay. And I want to I want to thank you all for um, actually using the chat to ask your questions. Um, it's just we have like 80 people on the call, and that's why I couldn't unmute everyone. <laughs> um, 
the if you have questions please write to events at weconnectinternational.org and then if you want to read about this Hubilo event portal you can look at the attendee user guide. We're going to be sending that link in an email, but this, these slides also have the link in them. I have emailed you these slides about 45 minutes ago. If you didn't get it, please let us know at events at weconnectinternational.org. Uh, please encourage more people to buy tickets. We definitely still have room and uh, we'd like to complete uh, the ticket sales by June 4th, as I said. Um, um, oh yeah, sorry about Europe. Sorry, we are still building the site and not everything's uh, uh, complete right now. And of course Europe is going to be a service area. Um, and I'm sorry, we, that was in no way intentional to leave that off for today's demo, but yes, every region will be represented. I assure you. <laughs> um, Okay, Melanie Mohammed, do you think I, or Brittany, do you think I missed anything here? Oh, Brittany, sorry, I gotta unmute you. I believe uh, we've covered everything. Patricia, I believe we're all set. Now, yeah, we've covered everything. Great. Let me just see if there was maybe another. Um, oh, thank you. Everyone's saying thank you. Thank you. Good. All right, you're gonna you're gonna get this link uh, to this recording. Um, I think it's gonna be fabulous networking day, and we're gonna announce the winners of the Rise to the Challenge Awards. And just to remind everybody. Um, uh, we have right now we have about 150 uh, applicants and uh, not everyone uh, has sent their videos and scripts yet though. So if you're planning on sending your video or script, um, you only have until uh, tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time uh, to send it. We will not consider videos and scripts after that. And you have to send a script with the video, okay? Uh, yes, video and script. And um, with that, I'm going to uh, give you nine more minutes back in your day. And we're gonna close out this um, training, okay? And we look forward to seeing all of you there. Okay. Um, oh, do we have to send permission from corporate buyers? Yes, if your video refer refers by name to one of our member buyers, uh, we ask that you send your request to use their name in the story. Uh, in, for example, in a written request and an email to them. If they haven't uh, responded yet to you, that's okay. But if, uh, if you um, are gonna be a finalist, if you end up being a finalist, we are gonna have to have permission from that member buyer to mention your name in the video. If, if we're not able to get their permission, what we would do is ask you to re-record the video and just mention a member buyer and not mention the member buyer by name. Sorry, that's a lot of detail, but, um, and that's relevant to finalists, um, but I hope that's clear. Um, yeah, and this is for the Rise to the Challenge Awards. This is not about uh, tickets for International Day. It's just at International Day, we are going to announce the winners of the, um, of the awards application. There will be, uh, nine winners, there will be eight sector winners, and there will be one overall global winner. Um, and just to let you know that uh, the same company that wins a sector award might end up being the best, best application and they could be the global winner as well. We're, we're not sure how that's gonna play out yet, um, but we'll see. Okay. Um, Thank you very much, everyone. Wonderful session. Thank you so much, Mohammed, uh, for setting up this event portal and uh, for the demo. And thank you, Akash, for your great support to us. And um, thank you, Melanie and Brittany, for being my co-conspirators and pulling uh, the awards, awards program off. Um, and I think Minnie's here as well. I wanna do a shout out to our other regional directors on the call and our market leads. Um, and uh, also to Caitlin, who's 
been providing amazing communications and social media support. So um, I think we're going to end the, the session now. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.